Hello and welcome to Lee Square Gaming. My name is Lee Square and welcome to a whole another video of the Charwell Farming Agency. Starting to make it sound action like movie style, you know? Come on, Arnold. You know you want to be in this. Um, we are over here on our clover field because, and I sure to double check just to make sure that I do believe our, yes. Oh, excuse me, not our clover field, our, um, Should be alfalfa, I believe. Yeah, our alfalfa field is ready to go. My mistake. Our lovely alfalfa ready to cut. Let me close this up here. I have the other combine working right now. It's, it's getting back on track, so it's going to be a while for that. Till then, we'll pretty much immediately top into a, uh, a time lapse here. Turn real more turn on. Hopefully this mod works. The, what the real mower mod is supposed to do is all these shrubs and bushes and everything else here. It's supposed to be able to um, cut all that down too. If, you know, so we'll see how that works. We will see how that works. I'm hoping it does because that'd be great to make this place a little bit cleaner looking. I do not want white spreading. Do not want that weather whatsoever. We will be doing swath. So I think it's why that it changes it. No, it's not why that it changes it. Working with love control Y. Okay. Swath dropping, please. Thank you. Drop these down. Like there's a slight delay. And we'll raise it up. Alright, enjoy the time lapse. That quick little job is now done. Let's just fold this up here. Okay. Grab this back as soon as I remember where the gate's at. We're gonna get this uh picked up here. And then I gotta I'm trying to figure out do I wanna make it to hay first or do I want it as silage first? We have those machines now though that we have on our farm, on our land we have. <clears throat> this map is a good way to try a lot of mods out, I think. And that's all I'll be trying to do here as well. So I, that's one of the reasons why I have a setup like this. I also want to do production, like I said before in the first video, like a production type map. Well, it's not the one I've been setting up. This is a general idea of it. Let's get the map back up here. This is parked around the corner. I use this as a shortcut. Which is now a stock cut. I got stuck. Alright. There we go. And some bent pieces of metal later. We are free. Back this thing up here. There we go. Look forward, and there we go. That was a pretty good cut. Minus two very, very random pieces of corn. The corn stalks. I don't know what they were doing there right, whatsoever. There we go. Let's 
You did good. All right. All right, so now <coughs> we need to pick up all this corn. Not that. Nice little machine I'll be using in the future, though. Let me go find it, and I'll meet you at the new at the machine we've been using here. All right, we are now at the Lind uh, the Lindner uh, uh, unit track. Ugh. Mouth not working right there. We're not too far from the field. So we only see our tracks when we cut through, and we gotta go the other way. <coughs> <coughs> Let's go pick this up. We're going to be putting this into our uh, silo area or, or to be making some silage. We'll be using the clover. Let's the closest gate here. Close. Is it here the trigger? That's what triggers it. Okay. Now then. find our starting point here which I think is right about here drop our thing down there's our pickup nice little vehicle so you get inside of it really quick here decently detailed it's not it's not all around or anything but it's pretty nice right, let's go back to outside here turn this bed wrong option there we go now it's on doesn't hold a whole lot, so we're doing a lot of back and forth trips here. So, there we go. Sorry to do this to you guys again, but we're doing another time lapse. Enjoy time lapse number two. Alright, as you see, we are not on the field anymore, and you also probably saw no time lapse. Why is that? Well, there's a reason. <clears throat> when they go dump the uh, first load I have in here, and well, I couldn't dump it. I couldn't dump it in either silo, which is absolutely huge as far as height goes. It's nice and deep. So I was like, okay, let me go to the biogas plant. Maybe I could do it there. I could sell it. I can't I can't put it in their silos either. So for whatever reason that is, maybe it's a mod complex, I don't know. I can't um dump this. I do have a mod in here that I can place another placeable down. Which I will show you here. I don't think anybody travels on this road here. It's in the global economy right here. Yeah, see, I have one that does drying and one that does fermenting. But you see, they're not cheap ones, and I don't own either one. Be nice to own them, but I don't own them. And here, here's the ones we do have. We have the field grass dryer, which does only clover and I guess field grass. Excuse me. And then we have the clover the fermenting silo. So we can make silage that way if we wanted to. Other than that, nothing really. And then we got CCM stuff in here as well. So here's one I did. What I should have put in here is this. <coughs> we could call the company and ask for them just to to get the other parts in if you know we wanted to. But I think it might be might be better if we just call them up and say, "Hey, we want another one." Hundred ten thousand. Will it be a hit to us? Yeah, be a little bit of a hit to us, but that's okay. At least it gives me the opportunity this time to show you guys the forestry area a little bit here while we're driving back. Let's run the edge of the map here. I do want to do some forestry earlier than I did do on Sussex Farm. Let's have these pre-made trees here and stuff. They're pre-made, pre-planted, I should say. <clears throat> we 
do a nice little quick job, get to get him uh, hauled out, make some money really quick. Yeah, we're moving back to the field here now. So what I'm thinking of doing is actually just uh, uh, spreading it out again so it's pointless for me to have swapped it. Or get a, 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 a baler that um, also, uh, what's it called? <coughs> Excuse me. Wraps, which I think is a better option here right now just to get things going here. And wrap it up for silage. And then in the meantime, <coughs> excuse me again. Asthma, gotta love it. Um, just use use uh, use the little bit we have here for uh, the sheep, which uh, I will love to be getting perfectly this episode. All right, we're almost back now. Unexpected tour of the map. There it was. Yeah, we don't own corner quote field 12 or any of the forestry stuff so all right let's go back to our main farm here which I think is this way if I, if I remember correctly we need to turn off so I think I need to turn around well things aren't turning well today for us now is it Sometimes it just goes that way. And I gotta empty out the, the combine there too. It's just waiting for me. And waiting for me. And waiting for me. I did have time to run it on times five, but then it was start going to be getting dark soon. I was trying to figure this out. So I'll put it back on times one. Until we get going back here again. All right. There's the entrance there, so we should be close to the main farm here. I'll meet you back back at the main farm. All right, now we're back at the main farm there. I'm sorry for the quality so far, guys. I do apologize. We deserve better. But all right, we're back here at the main farm here. I believe this is the one for sheep. Let me just double check to make sure here. It's not the entrance point for the sheep. I swear these are real bales. I can swear. Uh, we'll see. Alright, animal dialogue says yes, these are sheep. How much would it cost? 500 each plus shipping because I don't want to get a trailer here. So we'll have them be delivered for us. Let's see here. Let's do black and white. Fifty. Fifty sheep to start off. Cost twenty seven five. That's not bad at all. Now we have sheep. Things are gonna be going pretty good now. Let's get this set up here. Alright, well I had to reload the map here and as you can see it did some uh, good comedy here. That was above the ground, now it's below. And it's filling in. Jeez, now we got a full field of this. Oh boy. Well, we got some interesting going things going on in the farm now, don't we? I hope the, the, the they could find their way to the water. <laughs> I hope I can feel it. I think I have to go on the other side. Yeah, we're on the other side. Okay. I'm going to feed you, sheep. Don't you worry. You know we got some comedy going on here. And evidently you can't feed it to the sheep. I 
I'm all uh, thrown for a loop because I thought you could give alfalfa to sheep. I guess not. Alright, so now we got to get some uh, grass right away for the sheep here. What a day this has turned out to be. What a day. Alright, well, we'll sell this eventually. We're just going to park this over here someplace to the side and kind of forget about it for a bit. Park it right here. Just, just forget about this existing right now. We're just, we're just going to walk away. Meantime, we got this to do. I have it sitting now where it doesn't run away on me when I'm trying to fi uh, fill this up. But then once it's fully filled, we'll dump it and then switch out to the proper trailer, which is those two smaller trailers we have. But this is a little, uh, little tight in the fitting here, I would say. You want to open up? Please. Thank you. At least I should have it set. Now if I undid my setting, that's another story. Alright, just, just dump on in here. As your auger barely makes it in. There they go. Missing pieces as always, but that's okay. We can fix that in the, in the future. Right now, just worried about it getting the job done. And just it's just driving through. We have the best luck of workers right now. Okay. I don't know what you're doing, but you're special. I want to see here. Do we own a baler that wraps garage? Survey looks like it's saying no. Okay. So we need a, uh, a silo. We need a baler that wraps. Okay. Let's get that done really quick here. And, we'll get, and then we'll do one final time lapse. And then we'll be calling it a day in this lovely video. Uh, baling technology. Let's see here. What new things can we try out here? There's one that does for uh, uh, clover and alfalfa. Interesting. Let's look at it more closely, shall we? This will do for us for sure. See what color foil cover should we have? No, let's let's change it up. Let's make a nice little minty green color. All right. How much is it going to be? Seventy-six thousand. We'll buy it. There we go. Hundred ten horsepower. That shouldn't be a problem for us. Do 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 do. Actually, we'll keep the... No, we'll take the weight off. Where should we dump this at, though? Let's dump it right over here by all this metal and stuff. There we go. 
a thousand pound weight. All right, I meet you back at the field once we get this baler. All right, we're back at the field now. It's already starting to grow back. This stuff grows fast. So we yeah, we gotta pick this up right away before it gets any higher here. Drop that down, I'll fold it. Turn her on. And this stuff is already picked up here. Okay. Oops. We'll just run it till we get to the over here now. I think it starts way over there. Yeah, I missed a line too. Oh, excuse me. Alright, now we're picking up the alfalfa. We're gonna have silage. And it totally skipped all that stuff. Okay. I probably should have done the fast wrapper because it's a lot better than than this one. This is just basically a a, a, a rescripted um, Q and uh, one. It seems to be working well though, so we'll use it and then we can sell it. Probably sort of lease it to be honest. All right, we we'll chop that off. Look how green that is. It's beautiful looking. Alright, let's get this rolling, shall we? Time lapse number three, and then we'll be calling it a day. Enjoy! Sell this and get rid of it and get it get the get a better wrapper here. I will be cleaning up the other field off screen. In the meantime, let's first detach that. There we go. <coughs> As I get this and get everything else wrapped up here. <coughs> if you like this video, do click the like button down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. Also. If you like the content on this channel and like to see more of it, hit that subscribe button. That would be also greatly appreciated. But now that's gone, and all that being said, as I clean up in the background here,
Get rid of this thing. Yes. Goodbye. All right, with all that being said, I'm Lee Square. This was Lee Square Gaming. This was a very interesting episode of Farming Simulator. Till next time, be safe, be well, and have a wonderful day.